Fight by Jean Harding Read by Claudette Evans The village sleeps in the Sunday morning sun and matins drift towards me on the breeze. I swing on the garden gate to hear it squeak and watch the jackdaws squabbling in the trees. Up from the airfield lift the planes, an eardrum shattering, deafening roar, vertically climbing at breathtaking speed into the clear blue air they saw. Climbing to tiny specks in the sky to come down on their prey from the sun. I still swing on the garden gate until I hear the big naval guns. Get down the shelter, my father yells. Grudgingly, I obey. My mothers and sisters are already there, settling down to read and play. Dad's still on top. He wants to watch. Back alongside him, I gradually slide. The ack-ack gets closer and then it stops. He puts out his hand. Mine goes inside. Up the river, the measuresmiths fly. The air is filled with roar and rattle. The spitfires drop from them out of the sun, a twisting, snaking, smoking battle. Above our heads, round and around, shrapnel whizzes past our ears. The world erupts and I'm flung to the ground. Dad holds me tight until the air clears. Mum scolds us both. Dad more than me. She hugs me close till I want for air. You should have known better. But I can see that she is just glad that we are still there. Over the hedge, a measuresmith's down. An acrid smoking fiery grave. A tail sticks up from a hole in the ground. For us, it had been a very close shave. I head towards it. I want to see. Look at that dress. You've torn the lace. No, you can't go, Mum says to me. Get inside and wash your face. There's two planes down in the Sunday morning sun. The scavenging village boys are already there. One of each this time. That's 22 this week. And I hunt for bullets. Clean ribbons on my hair. 